always kind of grew up in the church and and uh, and attended and I got rebaptized in 2000 I really felt God was calling me to get rebaptized and so I did that and then went to college and um, you know straight off from what his plan for my life would have been and and uh, you know I never thought I really had a testimony and and until I really wrote it down and, and searched out just who I was and, and I've had some really godly men, Jason Elam, Todd Peterson, uh, really come into my life and, and make a big impact and really challenge me to, to seek out what I'm believing and what I'm talking about so that I could not only defend it, but I could understand what I'm saying. And, and so my relationship with Jesus had just gone from there and just blown up, especially the last couple of years. And our chaplain, Doug Gilcrease, um, you know, Mark Wright's awesome. Um, just really got the man that had poured into my life and, and encouraged me to, to really have my own quiet times and, and seek out God and, and study His Word and memorize His Scripture and, and just have Him on your mind and on your heart a lot and let Him open doors for you and, and bring you closer to Him. So it's been an awesome journey and it's never overnight, but it's um, a lot of ups and downs and and I, you know, I picked a, a wife who is awesome and joining me in that journey and has really challenged each other to grow and, and but it's never been easy, but there has been a, a ton of amazing parts and, and those hard times we look back on and think that I would never take them away because they grow you so much. And so it's been a long journey and it's definitely not over yet and you know it's just it's awesome I would tell them that um, you know there's a lot of truth and security in Jesus and and our creator of this planet and I would tell them to seek it out and to seek wise counsel not somebody who um, just tell them what they think, you know, search the Bible, um, whatever somebody says, take it to the Bible, make sure it lines up, and, you know, get to know Jesus and spend a lot of time, I mean, when you boil it down, there's nothing more important in this, this world that we're created in, than to find our creator, and, you know, that, that'd be the most important thing you can do, I mean, when you boil it all down, why are we here, and, and, what are we supposed to be doing? There's, there's a lot more to this world than, you know, a, a bang that put us here randomly. We're here for a purpose and, you know, really find it and seek it out. And it's not an easy road, so don't be discouraged. Um, but also find, you know, find wise counsel and, um, you know, latch on and, and really try and grow and, and seek it out.